All right, time to check in with Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver. And uh, we're starting off with some new numbers from Stats Canada on the country's GDP. How's it looking? It's actually looking pretty good if we look at December as well as 2016 as a whole. I'll break down the numbers for you because it's uh, better than what a lot of analysts were expecting uh, waking up this morning. So in December, we saw the economy expand by 0.3 percent. And if we look at utilities, this is an important thing because we actually got uh, colder than expected weather uh, across Canada after a pretty warm weather last year during the same period. Uh, so we had a lot more energy bills that we were paying for. And with regards to the industries that mean a lot to British Columbia, construction as well as real estate, which accounts for almost one third of our economy, we actually saw some gains there. Not everything was doing well. Uh, we had retail that went down 0.1% and oil and gas extraction. Uh, that's a big part of our neighbors in uh, Alberta, their economy that fell 3.7%. But look, if you do the math, GDP grew 2.6% quarter on quarter in the fourth quarter of the year if you're calculating on an annualized rate. And if you look at 2016 as a whole, we actually had a growth of 1.4% last year. So it's not a bad way. Economists at TD are saying that this is going to pace us for some very healthy growth in both 2017 and 2018 going forward. So some pretty good news, but there is a bit of a fly in an ointment here. Uh, uh, business investment, not as great as a lot of uh, economists mm. were expecting uh, going forward in December, though. All right. And also some interesting news with the CRT stepping in with a, a mobile upstart, basically Sugar Mobile. Yeah, it, look, in a nutshell, it, it's a little complicated, but Sugar Mobile was using uh, licensing agreements for rural telecom users uh, that would allow them to roam in urban areas. They're using the Rogers network to roam, for example. But Sugar was actually providing these services to not just rural customers, but urban customers as well as kind of a backdoor into Rogers infrastructure. So the connection here to Vancouver is that there's a company, TNW Wireless, that has a similar sort of business model, a similar sort of technology. And there are a few key differences, though. And it began providing these wireless services to its clients in rural British Columbia just this week. When I spoke to a spokeswoman at TNW, she says that Right now, uh, the technology is distinct enough that they're not so concerned. They're more reliant on these Wi-Fi hotspots that would prevent them from roaming excessively and creating like kind of the ire of the CRTC and regulations at this point. It's something I'm going to be keeping my eyes on, though, because I'm very curious. Everybody likes more competition in the Absolutely. telecom industry. So this will be an interesting one to uh, watch out for. All right, Tyler, thanks very much. Thank you, Sonia.